What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Overlord. Today we're doing season four, episode four. This one is called The Ruler of Conspiracy. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, Ainz, Mamonga, whatever you want to call him, is making Jerkniv literally stressed to the point of death. The slain Diagrashi thinks he's a, a betrayer, traitor, all this, that, and the above. Meanwhile, we have the sword warrior, whatever, about to fight Ainz. So this is all gonna get crazy. I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. I'm not going to waste any more time. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check out the Patreon. Let's hop right on into this. Carrot and the stick. Yeah. Tsubarashi, okay. Advertise, that's what my man's doing. That is true. We're homies with Jerkniv. I don't think he'll mind us coming into his kingdom. The Baha Ruth Empire. So, so what I'm gathering is that the whole Colosseum thing is pure coincidence? Okay, recruit some. That's what he's kind of what he's talking about. So this it was all coincidence. This is how this happens. And shouts out Einzak for the idea. The warrior king, yeah. He's like, I can set something up if you'd like. And he's like, make that happen, Einzak. Would that not be so handy? Oh my god. Ooh, it's been a minute since we've seen Fluter. I love his attitude towards him. Book of the Dead. A fraction of my knowledge. That's all he wants. He just wants magical knowledge. A translating monocle? That's a cool item. <laughs> the most magical sounding book. He's like, I'm glad I could have helped you. Oh, I've seen this dude uh, in the opening. I was, I remember, because I was like, why are his eyes so small? Ooh. The rune workshop of a dwarven kingdom in the Azerlicia mountain range. A dwarf, I mean, we know dwarves are the master craftsmen. He's like, you? Like, yourself? Fight him? You, you want to fight in the call? You're a king. You've done your research. Yes, we have. I don't... I think he's making that up, right? Does it not seem overpowered? Or does it really take 10 years to build up? As simple as it can be. I love that. Oh, that is a great comparison point. R.I.P. the GOAT. I miss Gazef, man. That's why I hope Brain is super dope this season. I can't wait for my man. It's so interesting how OP Ainz is. Because if you're a magic caster or swords user, like a warrior, you're one or the other. You definitely have very little experience in the other. So the fact that Ainz is so OP in both is crazy. Oh, 
Osk seems a little worried about him. Warrior King is fucking ginormous. Looks like the Orc Lord from Reincarnated as a Slime. Gogin. Gogin. This just got me. I was already hired. This just got me. Fair, fair exchange, I guess. He is literally like Geld. He's literally like the Orc Lord from Slime. He would want to eat you, which is crazy. He literally has that power. Gluttony. But if we gain him as a subordinate, I am way too excited. Let's shake on it. Now, this is true sportsmanship right here in the Coliseum. You'll love to see it. Good dodge. What did, what did Irons do to his back? He is wary of fire. Ah, I see. I know, I know, right? Jerking it, like, st like, stop. Honestly, those look like Clementine's weapons. I won't lie, this animation is crisp. Hide reinforcement, greater hide reinforcement, can barely even pierce, but the ah, fucking explosion afterwards? Okay. Okay, you do look like a warrior troll. A determined gaze. Gogan's kind of going ham right now with his power boost mid-fight. That was a one of your only chance. Damn. That was actually kind of sick. Oh, those are his gauntlets. I thought it was actual arm. Heck yeah, full mobility, full range. It is a dangerous gamble. It's all or nothing. Compared to me? Yes. Everyone else? No, you're the goat. Right? He's like, you've been toying with me. Naruhodo. I respect it. I respect Gogan for fighting, being honorable all the way till the end, you know? Ooh, touch me. The one who saved him. Yes, I respect that. Even if you do beat me, even if I die, show me what I'm going against. Let me see. I actually want to see as well. Kill this man honorably, Ions. R.I.P. Gogan, man. Oh my god, just like that. No magical items. I mean, a couple. No magic. Count me in, sir. I'll be first in line. He's reviving Gogan. He absolutely can go against death. I'm the overlord of death. And we made a bet with Gogan that if he lost, he would become one of them. And so...
he is trying anything he can. Yeah, I'm curious what the definition of a vassal state is. Yeah. In, in terms of securing the safety of his people, I think this is probably the smartest chance he has. They're going to hate him and hate it, obviously. But in the presence of such an overwhelming force, I would be like, yes, have my entire kingdom, my lands, protect us. We'll be under you like a vassal. You know, it's like, don't just start, you no. Know, no, I mean, no, he just doesn't. Right? Okay. I agree that you are shittily unlucky, and I, I feel bad for you and the stress you're dealing with, but god damn, was that a good episode? That was the end? No intro? No outro either? God damn. Well, I really wanted to see the Colosseum fight, and I was not disappointed at all. I loved, obviously, the fight animation, the style of fight. I love how fighting in this show was a lot different than any other shonen, you know? Like, it's that guy kind of compare but well, his use of magic mixed with attacks mixed with game aspects mixed with like it's it, it creates such a video game like fight and i love it so much like it's how i would want my jrpg to be but he was so overpowered so strong i just love the respect they have for each other them shaking on it coming to an agreement beforehand if i beat you this if you beat me that still having respect at the end reviving him at the end I do kind of feel bad for Jerknin for how much he's misinterpreting the situation and how nervous and stressful he really is when Ainz is just like kind of a cool dude, but I get it. If you were in the face of it, it's kind of like, no, I can't even make that comparison, but it's like, I get it. I completely understand. I am absolutely loving this though, where this is going to go. I have no idea. We're going to be a vassal state. Maybe we can keep going, deal with the slain. Like, I literally need to know the end game. Like, who are we dealing with? Are we going to see, uh, I think his name is Saw. Yeah, and Rigrit. Like, are we dealing with the dragon soon? Like, how, what's the end game of this? Are we actually going to rule the world? I'm curious. Uh, but I thoroughly enjoy this episode. Loving it so far. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. All that jazz. Don't forget to hide. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.